hey guys welcome back to my channel it is too early for me i'm just kidding i am going to pretty much like vlog um this week because i have different appointments like personal appointments for myself and i just want to vlog it as much as i can <sighs> Okay, so the reason why I have to wash my hand, like my face with my hands is because I got a chemical peel done last Friday. Yeah, last Friday. And um, I usually use like a brush head to just really get in there. But she was like, no, you just do it with your hands because I don't want you to like peel it like prematurely. Um, but everything else stays the same. Those... I do two cleanser, two different cleansers like at the same time and then after that I go in with this toner um, to really even out my skin tone because that shit is crazy but um, everything else stays the same I just have to make sure not to peel it because it does get super tempting um, so I just went through with one and I'm gonna go in with one more. But, yep. Then, after my toner, I just have a little fan, like. to dry it up. So then after I let the toner sit in and like dry, I go in with hyaluronic acid. And I don't use a lot just cause, I don't, I don't know, I don't really, it's like super slimy. You guys have to not forget your neck cause that needs some love too. And then I just put that serum literally everywhere. I try to get as deep into the skin as I possibly could. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I'm just making sure that I get everything. And then I'll like rinse off my hands because then they stay a little sticky. And then I do the same thing. I let it wait before I put on my moisturizer. I let it wait. I let it sit. So I wait for it to soak in because this is very like, I don't want to say sticky because like serums are sticky, but not like in a bad way. It's just how I guess the serum is, but a good little fluff there in the face and then I gotta you gotta shake your moisturizer especially if it comes like in a tube I gotta shake it for a little bit to really like mix in all the ingredients okay so then I go in with this CeraVe oh yeah, Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion I have been obsessing over this it does not leave you any white residue it doesn't leave you like anything like that and it, it literally doesn't feel thick I have had moisturizers oh my god this thing did not want to pump for me I have had moisturizers in the past that oh my god they just feel so thick in your face and I hate those I really do because you can't like do anything comfortably because then you like in the back of your head you're like oh my god I like feel this damn moisturizer on my face and it's just not a really good feeling um, just because it really does feel heavy. I know that sounds so silly, but like if you know, you know So I just go in with some of that and what I like about this one is that it has SPF in it So you get your sunblock in there and you get your face moisturized So it's like a win-win because if you're not putting SPF on your face, then what is you doing? 
So after I'm done with that, um, I would normally wash my lashes before, but I'm running a little bit late. So I'm gonna wash them whenever like I get home and i am now gonna go in with this lip balm from lush it's honey trap let me see if i can flip it i literally love like all their products um but i just take it with my now and you don't need a lot i don't know why i always do that it literally smells so good And it is so moisturizing. Oh my god. Now I'm actually going to be taking, I know it says for like headache, but I take one Excedrin uh, before my appointment just for like pain or whatever. I haven't done it without taking some form of painkiller, so I wouldn't know like how it would be like. So then I just, I'm taking my husband's whiskey glass and putting in some homemade lemonade i love homemade lemonade it's literally the freaking best and then you can hear our puppy in the background well i hate 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 taking pills but after i get that done I am just going to go ahead and head over there before I am fucking late to my I just wanted to record this because I don't know about you, but I have to listen to crime podcasts if I'm like driving to an appointment or like driving more than like 10 minutes because I have been obsessing over crime podcasts for like two months now. And if you don't have any like recommendations, I highly, highly recommend it's called Sword and Scale and the other one is called crime junkie now if you have any other suggestions um for crime podcasts let me know the only thing that i do have to say the difference between the two i feel like crime podcasts they're very talkative they very like put in their own opinion and with sword and scale it's more of like storytelling which i freaking love this guy literally like he's not laughing he's not like giggly and like he's very his tone of voice is so mellow and like almost like scary and it just fits in literally to the whole crime podcast like thing um and he doesn't like stop for 10 minutes to talk and then goes back to the actual like crime or like whatever is going on the story so i love that one like that's like my number one but another one that i do like is the crime junkie so if you have any other ones i've also listened to i think it's red room or red red something but i didn't really like that one as much just because again it's a lot of talking and a lot of like like opinions like stopping the whole like investigation thing or like research for 10 minutes to talk about how they feel and all that and i don't really like that i just want to hear what the fuck happened like you know so i just wanted to add this little clip in there because i love 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 certain scale so you can find them on spotify that's where i listen to it um but i think they do have it on like apple podcast like the iphone the music or whatever but yeah go check them out literally you will not fucking regret it like i'm telling you and a lot of their stories like it, how he tells them is so detailed that like so many times i've had to just skip certain freaking podcasts because i cannot handle how intense that shit is being told like mm, no no sir but yeah it's just crazy
aesthetic. That was literally it, you guys. It's a 1014. She's fast. I was trying to pull myself together right there, that little pause, because that shit is so intense, you guys. I literally, so everyone is different. Me and her were talking about it, but I, when I get nervous or like scared or anxious, I sweat. So every single time I get up, I have that paper thing stuck to my ass. Cause I get so nervous like it's just such an intense and it does get better but it's still like like oh fuck you know what I mean but I definitely recommend I was gonna record my reaction but we always have like really good talks so I just didn't want like to not talk with her you know but um, I see her in three weeks because I come every three weeks because my hair grows pretty fast I am on vitamins not religiously I take it like every other day or every two days well maybe that is religiously but anywho um so my hair grows pretty fast everywhere but here like it grows but I just I need a trim as you can tell all of this is fucking dead and I don't know how because I don't use like <clears throat> like a strainer or anything but she's amazing I love her I will leave her Instagram like I was saying earlier, if anyone in like Milan Odessa has me on here, so you guys can check her out because she is literally, she makes you feel so comfortable. <clears throat> and that's what some like estheticians lack in. She's, she talks to you, like, especially if she knows that you're nervous or if you tell her, like, I'm a little nervous. She will dead ass, like, make a whole conversation with you to make you feel comfortable because. Let me tell you, I, when it comes to pain and like that, I literally, I need to talk. Like, I need to just, like, distract myself, but she's amazing. I love her to death. She, I just cannot say enough, like, enough good things about her because it's just, it's not gonna, what is it called? Like meet up to how she really is because oh my god and she is very closed off so like a lot of people around here are very like she's mosas and she's not like that whatsoever she is not the type to like go around telling people like oh her cootie this or her, her cootie her coochie this her coochie that no and that's what I fucking adore her for because I know so many estheticians or like waxers or stuff like that in Midland, Odessa who go around telling people like all these clients is business and that is an intimate thing, you know? You don't want no one telling other people about what your coochie looks like or what this and that and it's just, it makes her even better because she's already amazing so it's just it adds like that fucking cherry to that sunday so yeah now i'm headed to best buy because my mom needs me to go um get her a cover for her ipad her ipad mini well it's my nieces because my mom has like four freaking ipads for all of the kids well three because i got my youngest one hers because my oldest had already had it so i just had to get sophie at one but anywho i'm headed to go to best buy here in odessa i just have to check what time they fucking open because i need some starbucks in my life so i will see you guys at best buy i had to i was out and about already well not really um i had came home after i ran a few things um and i was like oh my god i ran out of my favorite freaking candle so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go over there real quick and then come back because i have a few things to do here so i was like i'm gonna go and do that real quick get a few stuff come back and that was the plan and then as i was coming home i was like I had to. I freaking had to. 
So, if you have not heard, but pumpkin spice is back in season and this is what I get. I order a venti ice chai tea latte with light ice, three pumps vanilla, one pump of pumpkin sauce and pumpkin foam. And it's literally so delicious. I love this color, by the way, but mm, literally. And then I usually get a pumpkin scone, but the guys like what out, but try our pumpkin muffin. So I'm gonna try it out. It has um, cream cheese filling, which I love. I love cream cheese. Um, when it's like not in season, I'll just get a like chocolate croissant or a cheese a Danish. But this is the first time I tried the pumpkin muffin like at all. I've never tried this like ever. So here it goes. Mm. It's really good, but we didn't come here to watch me eat like a fat ass. I am gonna show you guys what I bought. It's just like a mini haul. I literally have gone to Bath and Body Works like a million times within like the last four weeks I think so I'm just gonna show you just a few things I literally got I got a so okay little backstory before I start saying these since I absolutely are not backstory but like just a little fun fact I absolutely hate like those super sweet since like the lemonade the cupcake the muffins the waffles things like that in candle or in soap and in any of like that i absolutely hate like it's disgusting so my favorites are more like the strong um like cinnamon uh like pumpkin apple they're not like super sweet they're just like kind of in between does that make sense I, it probably doesn't make sense but anyways i'm obsessed with those but obviously not they're not out year long so whenever it is summer i do get like the what is it, the peach bellani the like whatever um i get the teak wood i think that's how you say it that like um guy cologne scent and it's usually i think it's called paris cafe it just smells like coffee i love the way that smells um i don't know why i use it in the summer but i love how it smells it just literally makes the house smell like coffee like just i've been drinking coffee or like the coffee pots on or something but i'm obsessed with everything fall like cinnamon and like cloves and all of that i'm obsessed with so that's why a lot of these are just like that so going back to what i'm getting i or what i got i got the sweet cinnamon pumpkin and it literally just smells like cinnamon pumpkin and then i also got the afternoon apple picking this one also smells very fall it's not overpowering of like sweetness and then i have like a huge collection of hand sanitizers just because i go through them like crazy because i am a lash artist so i have to have a shit ton of hand sanitizers like on deck so i got five because it's i think like five for eight dollars or something like that i got three of the same ones which are the apple picking or sorry pumpkin apple and this is i pick you i don't know why i was saying that but i got three of these i got a white pumpkin which smells a little bit more on the sweeter side but it's still really really like ref well, i don't want to say refreshing but like fall like and then um i got this by accident i didn't realize that until i got in the truck that i or not the truck until i got in my car and i was like looking through it to make sure that everything was in there because i don't know i just need to make sure but this is the pumpkin cupcake i got that one by accident thinking that it was this one and i just left it like that i'm like you know what whatever so now i only got six candles um they're not on sale so they were 24 dollars like original 25 dollars 
25.50 oh my god um i should have taken advantage of their sale when they were like i think they were ten dollars but i got pumpkin apple of course like i'm telling you i just hate like the super sweet i don't know how to explain it i just don't like those super sweet scents this one is by far my absolute favorite in the fall it's called harvest gathering it is so freaking oh it's i love it it's literally amazing and then the one that i had lit in my house before it ran out was the pumpkin clove i have gotten so many compliments by my clients like oh my god your house smells so good and all this so i got two of those so i'm not gonna show the other one just because it's the same thing and then leaves is another one of my favorites i just took the top off to get it it smells so freaking good so this one i'm just gonna read what this one has like the essential oils or like the fragrances so it's crisp red apple golden nectar warm clove spice with natural essential oils it just smells so good like it how it it's like crispy i guess is how we can say it and then like i said i got two of the pumpkin cloves so there's that and then this is another one of my favorite ones it's pumpkin bonfire smells so good it, it almost has like a hint of like uh um, like a men's cologne i don't know it just smells so good but this one is white pumpkin, a bundle of clove buds and glowing embers. I don't know what the fuck that is, but oh my god, I freaking love it. So that is what I got for today. <sighs> I kind of add on to like my candle collection, like little by little, just because these are very expensive, like original price. They don't have very like many sales throughout the year so it's kind of like you have to take advantage whenever they do have them um i did take a little advantage of their sale when i was in dallas and i got a few more of these but they are put away i just decided to like kind of record this one just because it was quick and it was through the day that i am vlogging so yeah these are originally four for 20 and six for 27 but i just grabbed two because but I just wasn't trying to spend that much money. Um, and then these stay the same throughout the year, I believe. The hand sanitizers are, hand sanitizers are always five, four, eight. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the damage that I did for today. But if you do end up trying this drink, let me know how you like it. You can rate it. I rate it like a 15 out of 10 just because it is literally my favorite fall drink and if you have any other fall drinks that are sweet not too strong in coffee because don't get me wrong i love coffee but i don't like that super like the cold brew is way too strong for me it needs to have like that big hint of sweetness because i do have a sweet tooth and i am obviously has like three pumps of vanilla and a pump of pumpkin sauce which is sweet but let me know if you guys end up trying this and how you like it. And if you have any personal little Starbucks drinks that you want to share with me so that I can try. Maybe I will review it in my next video. But until then, I will see you guys at my lash appointment. I am here at my lash appointment. I'm just waiting for her to tell me that I can go inside. But traffic was a little crazy coming over here. Oh my god, I fucking hate the sun. It was a little crazy. God, there's so many 18 wheelers. Um, I like froze for a second, but I'm here. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of her room whenever I get in there. She's kind of camera shy, so I don't know if she'll let me record her, but obviously I always ask before I do start recording, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. This is my before. <laughs> my pimple patch. I'm not supposed to be picking at them, but that's why I have that on because I get some little acne bumps that I know I'm going to want to pop. But yeah. Yes, it is. Oh my God, this is the day. This is this the is freaking the day. day. This is it. The day has come. God damn it. Let me. 
Well, what so day do we, we what day? What size do we have on you? Right now, there's the longest is 16. So I have 17 D You're curl. so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I have 17 D curl. You know what? I'll just let you do whatever because... We can do 17 D curl like spikes. Yes. Spiky spike. Let's do it. So I have this little pimple patch right here. I hope it doesn't mess with the tape that you put on. Mm. I don't know if it'll come off. Like if you do have to put a piece right there. But... <clears throat> I was peeking at it, so that's why I had to put it on. Cause oh, how's your microblading thingy going? My nano needle? Nano needle. Why do you microblade? Well, I'm peeling from a chemical peel that she oh, did. Yeah. So I'm gonna look hella gross. I'm sorry. I was. Her little cute setup. I'm gonna leave her Instagram, of course, down here. But we're about to get started. I'm about to fall back into her knees. She's about to go tonight. And I I always knock out. I oh, oh. But you're a very quiet sleeper. You're actually a really quiet sleeper, surprisingly. According to my man, I'm not. Snore. I have people that full on snore, so you're it actually happens. one of my quiet sleepers. I feel like I twitch a shit ton though. That's not actually for not, sure. There are people that's there there are people that are like and I'm like, whoa, be careful. I have tasers very, very close to your eyeball. For real. I don't think they understand that. Like, I get it, you know, you're dead out, but like I can poke you. I can Those like tweezers hurt. I mean you I know you poked your skin with them. Like yes. I've poked pretty my, my fingers stomach. trying to pinch like pinch your you know, even practice fanning and stuff like that. I like Tell them the struggle yeah, is so that. real. Just fucking say it louder for the bitches in the back. Wow. But Ready? Yeah, I'm about to nap. Wash and wash first. So I'll be back later when she is done. Cause yeah, like she said, I do not out. She be playing the like craziest shit in the background. Uh, oh yes, freaking sword and skill, and I just like knock out. It's the best. I know. Yes. I was telling them earlier. I was the like, y'all need to go listen to it. But okay, yeah, she's about to get to fucking business. So take a little look. On the before, don't judge my little pimple patch. <laughs> I'm gonna be coming out looking fabulous. So I already left my last appointment, you guys. I'm telling you, I knock the fuck out. Uh, we'll like have a little conversation, and then I just, I'm done. I am out. These are my lashes now. Don't worry, guys. I am like on the service road, and there's no cars. But lash fills are always the Lashville days are always the best days because we be coming out like like what I just feel like a bad bitch I'm gonna see how much I can vlog an update on the peel I don't know if you can no does it want to focus no maybe not oh don't mind my fucking dirty car so Mm, I don't know if you guys can see that. It is peeling. Sorry, this thing is like in my way. It is peeling. Um, it was peeling really bad. I think it was yesterday. But it's not peeling anymore. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this. It just looks like it's super dry. <laughs>
that video I completely forgot to film like after and just kind of close off the video so here I am like a million days later um, that was all that I had planned for that whole week for like my personal appointments I hope you guys enjoyed just a little bit of what I you know usually get done around every like two three weeks so or weekly in this case because I do get those nano needling treatments once a week because I have four sessions to do but I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of all of my appointments all three <laughs> but if you are interested in getting any of those services done I will leave all of those girls Instagrams down in the description box as well as I believe on those little clips I will have their IGs as well but just in case you didn't catch their IGs during the video I will have them down in the description box so I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching <laughs>